Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kamil Kuzmiak and in today's episode I'm gonna show you how to remove a spot on your face using Final Cut Pro. Let's get to it. Okay guys, let's jump straight to it and remove the spot on the face. I have three clips on my timeline here. In each clip I'm getting closer and closer to the screen. So let's start with the first clip. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna apply the blur and we're gonna have to go to the blur section in the effects tab and we need to choose the Gaussian blur and we need to apply it on our clip. And as you can see it applies to the entire clip so we want to apply the mask around the spot we want to remove so we go into the inspector then we have our effect here and as you can see here on the screen we have the mask so we just click on the mask and then choose the add shape mask and now we can see our mask and we want to place our mask on the spot we can make the mask smaller now just like that this inner circle is responsible for the size of the mask and the outer circle is responsible for the, for the feather. So for now we're gonna leave it like this and we need to zoom in, let's say 200%. Yeah, we need to make it way smaller. We're gonna make the feather smaller as well. We need to make it slightly bigger than the actual spot itself and then you go to the blur amount and as you can see if you make it maximum we're gonna switch the mask off now so we can see exactly what's going on so as you can see when the blur is maximum you can see this like a gray spot on the face and if it's zero then we can see the spot so basically i recommend turning the blur all the way to zero and then very slowly adding more blur to find like a sweet spot when the spot disappears but you don't get any like weird discoloration let's zoom in a little bit more so we can have like a perfect assessment and let's apply the blur that's too much we're gonna dial it down a little bit now i can see the spot again Okay, I think that looks perfect. So let's click on the mask again. Now we can adjust the feather. You don't want to make it too big because then it will spill over. I just like to make it something like that. So then we avoid the situation when this blur effect is so obvious that you can see this circle on the screen. With that feather, it helps you to blend the edge of the blur mask a little bit and now the most important part we want to track this effect to the spot so this little patch we created follows the spot on the face so we press on the tracker here on the top of the screen and basically we need to place our tracker directly on the spot and then you just hit analyze so the final cut pro gonna analyze the movement of the spot and make sure that the mask stays in the right place. It will analyze the clip both ways, before the cursor and after the cursor. Okay, now it's analyzed, now we can see, we can check if the mask is behaving correctly. Okay, it looks perfect. We can zoom out, switch the mask off so we can see clearly. So basically, if you press on the clip and you press Ctrl and R, then you can render the selection. Let me just play that back. Okay, that looks perfect. I like to add Skin Smoother plugin in order to make that patch of blur less obvious. So let's zoom in 100%. So we need to go to all the effects. I bought the plugin for around 30 pounds. I can't remember exactly. I will put the link in the description so you can check it out. So you apply the skin smoother on the clip and make sure it's underneath the blur 
you can hide the blur now and you can open the skin smoother options. You want to apply the color mask on the face. When the face is uh, lit evenly, so you have two sources of light and you have this even light on your face, then it's enough to apply one skin smoother. But if you have the dynamic moody lighting and one cheek is in light and another cheek is in the shadow, you need to apply two separate skin smoothers with two separate masks. So then combine together they cover the entire face. So let me start with the lighter part of the face. So first what I like to do, I like to click on the mask, choose add color mask, and then you basically sample your image, create a little circle, make sure that the circle is not touching the hair or any other dark part of the image because then it will highlight too much of the image and it will blur out too much of the image. Sometimes I need to do it couple times to get the, the best results. I'm looking for the nicest part of the skin when I have the biggest coverage of the highlights. And now we can apply the smoothing effect. You go to the smoothing mix. Smoothing mix is like the opacity of the effect. So I like to put the mix on 100% so I can see exactly how much smoothing I'm applying. I apply 100% of smoothing and as you can see, it looks absolutely unusable. You go to zero and you apply the effect slowly and slowly. You need to remember that afterwards you can change the opacity of the effect. It's good not to apply too much of the skin smoothing because then you're gonna end up with this very weird Instagram filter style of the effect. You're gonna look like a wax figure, like a plastic doll. Remember not to overdo it. Let's dial it down a little bit to make it very subtle and then you go to the smoothing mix and you go to zero and you do the same thing you apply more and more find like a sweet spot then you can always click on the checkbox to check before and after to see the difference i also like to zoom in on the patch on the blur we created so i can see how well the patch of blur blends with the skin smoothing i zoom into my forehead and let me switch the skin smoothing on and off and it looks much better it's blending much better maybe i would apply slightly more of the smoothing and sh make it slightly more visible and let me check again okay i'm happy with that i can come back to the mask and maybe make a slightly bigger feather so basically i need to press on the shape and then you are able to control the feather and make it slightly bigger so it's blending slightly better so now let me switch off the mask so i can see and now let's apply the skin smoothing on the darker part of the face i'm just gonna apply another effect on the clip so that's our first skin smoother we can hide the details and that's our second one zoom into the face 100% let's apply color mask again and let's sample the darker part of the skin so you create a little circle it's good if the masks are overlapping a little bit so the effect is blending together nicely if you press view mask then you can see exactly the white stuff is the part of the skin that you apply the effect to on this mask all that darker cheek is selected with the white color and if i press on the previous mask the lighter cheek is selected with the color so then you can switch back and forth and you can see if the masks are overlapping, then you can basically copy and paste values from the previous masks. So the skin smoothing, I copy, I go to the mask below, I paste skin smoothing value. Then I go to the smoothing mix, I copy that value, I go below and I paste to the second mask and we can hide the details. And basically when you press the checkbox next to the effects then you can switch all the effects on and off at once we can see a little bit uh, of before and after so that's without any skin smoothing and without any blur on the spot and that's after the retouch so as you can see it's very subtle it's not exaggerated there is still some detail in the skin 
obviously you can play around with the settings you can make it slightly more aggressive slightly more delicate but remember that less is more and it's so important to remember not to overdo it because the main goal is to make it look like nothing was done but i think that looks pretty cool pretty normal let me just unzoom yeah i think i'm happy with the result let me check the full screen so now i will show you how to copy that effect to your other clips if you have your edited vlog you need to copy that effect to each separate clip okay maybe i will change the smoothing mix a little bit to make it slightly more subtle maybe i will change it to 30 on both of the masks let me check before and after okay i'm happy with that let me show you how to copy all of those effects to the second clip i hide all of the details i highlight all of the effects and i create a preset so you press save effects preset let's call it spot remover you can create categories my category is kk vlog because that's the name of my vlog so let me just save it let me go to the effects tab and let me type spot remover okay let me throw the effect on both of the clips so let me start with the middle clip and as you can see it's not tracked anymore so we need to fix it so basically we go to the blur, we press on the mask, we put it in place, we can zoom in now to 100%. Before we press on the tracker, let's make it smaller. Make it just slightly bigger than the spot itself. Okay, now I will adjust the feather and now you press on the tracker. The tracker is in the right place already you just press analyze and you just wait for the magic to happen final cut is analyzing the movement of the spot and it's moving our mask if it will miss uh, you can just go into the keyframes and uh, remove the missed keyframe okay now it's finished let me press on the clip and let me double check if the skins moving masks are working correctly let me render the selection Control r now we can play that back and i think it's looking pretty good i think if you know where to look you can spot it if you zoom in but nobody is gonna pixel peep like this it's covered pretty good now let's do the last clip the skin smoother you don't need to touch because if the light in the scene stays the same the color uh, you picked gonna stay stay the same as well so the mask for the skin smoother gonna stay correct we just need to fix the tracking of the blur you press on the mask you go to the shape you make it a bit smaller just like that you put it on the spot then zoom in a little bit more to 100 percent move it out of the way so you can see what is the correct size for it always make it a little bit bigger than the spot itself because then if the tracking is not perfect and it will be a little bit off then it will still cover the spot so now we can make the feather a little bit bigger not too much we don't want to blur to go outside of the face as well press on the tracker let's hit analyze it looks like on the close-up we need to slightly increase the value of the blur so let me just go to the blur tab and slightly increase the value okay now it's less visible maybe i will also go to the into the mask and slightly increase the radius of the feather okay that's perfect let me just play that back to see it's looking pretty good on the close-up but as you can see when the head is turning the feather of the blur is going outside of my face maybe they won't notice but it's safer if you keep the mask a bit smaller than okay i'm happy with that now we can apply the color grading so i have a ready one that i've done before 
I'm gonna make a separate video about uh, my color grading process. Let me just stretch the adjustment layer on top of the clips. Let me switch on the effects, the color wheels, the hue and saturations, the color board and the curves. Okay, and now I will just render this retouched clip so we can see a little bit of uh, before and after. Okay, there you have it guys as you can see it's not so difficult and it can be very handy obviously if you have loads of blemishes to remove it may be a little bit problematic and then maybe applying the uniform skin smoother is uh, a little bit more practical but if you have one annoying very visible spot on your face you can't cover it with makeup that happens a lot that it's impossible to like completely cover it with this method you can uh, get rid of it okay guys that's gonna be it for today's vlog if you had fun don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there is more content on the way and see you in the next one